There are many ways to license software applications, and the software key system has solutions to handle even the most complex license parameter requirements. The Protection Plus 5 SDK licensing client uses a highly flexible XML license file to store all license parameters. There are predefined fields for simple requirements, and there are also several ways to define your own custom license data, which I will describe and demonstrate in this video. Solo Server Automation has a flexible way of defining a catalog of products for your suite of software applications using a two-level hierarchy. The top level is the product, and one or more options can be linked below it to define variations of the product, such as different license types. For a product named My Product, you can have options below this to license three levels of your software, such as Bronze, Silver, and Gold editions, with increasing functionality in each. Once your team defines specific licensing requirements for your products and their options, a field called Custom Data at the Product and Option level allows your development team to use custom XML formatted data to tell your software how to behave when reading this data. Once a customer is granted a license referring to one of these product catalog items, additional data can be customized at the license level. For example, your software would check the custom data at the license level first and then fall back to other custom data if applicable. This means that each customer can have a slightly different variation of license parameters based upon their exact needs. Solo Server Automation has three different ways to customize data at the license level. User-defined fields, custom parameter sets, and custom development. I'll start with an overview of each method and then transition to implementation examples. The User Defined Fields tab near the bottom of the License Details page offers an easy approach if you only need a small number of custom license parameters. There are a predefined number of fields for strings, integers, floats, and dates. The license labels can be customized to make it easier for your customer service reps to manage these fields. A different license label set can be defined for each product option. All the data in these user-defined fields will be sent down to your software during both the initial license activation and any subsequent license refreshes. The user-defined fields tab may provide the simplest implementation and has the extra benefit of being able to search these fields for specific values. Starting with Solo Server Build 1.18.1.0, it is possible to define custom parameter sets. A custom parameter set is simply defined custom parameters that are linked to a product option in your catalog. In the initial release of this feature, support will be available for Boolean, integer, float, date, and string fields. The advantage over the previous user-defined field approach is that you can have as many custom parameters as you need. If you are selling multiple products that have the same definition of custom parameters, a single parameter set can be linked to multiple product catalog items. When you use this standard custom parameter set feature, your staff will be able to choose values for each of the custom parameters when a license is added into the system. Note that these parameters are simply fields of data with no way to specify interdependencies or business logic, such as requiring one parameter to be enabled before another can be enabled. The custom parameter values are stored in the custom data field at the license level and sent down to your software during license activation and license refresh. The custom data XML will be exported in some solo server reports that include license record data. Due to the scalability challenges of querying potentially large XML in an expansive list of license records, it is not possible to search for licenses that have specific values defined in the custom license parameters like you can with the user-defined fields. If your company has advanced business logic requirements for custom license data, our professional service team can add a button on the license details page that connects to a fully customized edit license parameters page. Similar to the custom parameter sets, the data will be stored in the custom data XML at the license level, and you can also update the predefined and user-defined fields. In addition to enforcing custom business logic, the layout of the page can also be customized, which can make it even easier for your service representatives to manage. 
It may also be necessary if a more complex hierarchy of custom parameters is needed. To summarize, the user-defined fields may be enough if you just need a few custom fields or they need to be searchable in the solo server author interface, whereas the custom parameter set lets you define a complex set of fields. If you also need business logic to determine how your custom parameters can be set, then you would need to utilize our professional services. No matter which approach you use, you can refer to the License File Schema manual topic to see where each field is stored in the Protection Plus 5 XML license file. Now that I've completed the overview, I'll briefly show implementation examples in Solo Server. Feel free to stop the video if you're not ready to implement custom data yet. The list of user-defined fields can be accessed by going to the User-Defined Fields tab on any License Details page. All these fields start off empty and can be customized after the license is created. To edit the license labels, choose Configure, Products, click the Actions dropdown, and choose Customize License Labels. Use the Add New button to create a set of labels. After adding a new set of labels, go to the product option that should use this set, choose Actions Edit, and update the License Labels fields to the corresponding set. Licenses generated from that product option will now use this set of license labels. If you are utilizing the user-defined fields for custom license parameters, make sure the User-defined fields writable option is set to false in the product option settings. This means that the user-defined fields can't be updated through a web service call from your software, as you typically only want the data to flow from Solo Server to the license file in this case. If the user-defined fields aren't enough for your needs, you can create your own set of custom parameters. To create a new set, use the menu Configure, Products, and then choose Actions, Configure Custom Parameter Sets. Press the Create Your First Custom Parameter Set button and assign the set a display name. Now that the set is created, you can edit it by clicking on the name. Use the New Custom Parameter button to add a parameter. You can set the display name, tag name, data type, and description. You can require a value be entered for this parameter when a license is created or edited, and you can also set a default value for this parameter. You can also choose whether the customer will be able to see this parameter when they log into their Customer License Portal account. Here is a completed set. You can view the XML preview and note that it will use example values for parameters that were not assigned a default value. A parameter can be omitted if it has no value, and the values can be set when the license is created, or they can be updated any time after. To assign a set to a product option, go to Configure, Products, choose the product option that needs the custom parameter set, and choose Actions Edit. For the custom parameter set field, choose the correct set. With the set configured, we can now add a new license. Use the menu Customers, Add a New Customer to add a new customer record, and then click the Add License button. Select a license and click the Add New Prepaid License button. The custom parameter fields will be listed at the bottom and can be set as needed for this particular license. Your developer can use the XML preview so that your application can properly parse this data stored in the custom data field. Using the menu option Customer, Add Multiple Licenses has a similar workflow for setting custom parameters. To update existing licenses, or when adding a test license, you simply have to go to the License Details page, choose License, Edit, and the custom parameters can be updated at the bottom. If you require more than just custom fields of data, custom development can include custom business logic and an Edit License Parameters page. On the License Details page, an Edit Custom License Parameters button is added to link to your custom page. This gives you the most flexibility and can include checkboxes, radio buttons, or any design in logic that is needed by your requirements. 
Once you save the data, you will see the updates reflected in the predefined fields, and you can also go to License, Edit, to see the XML custom data that was automatically updated as well. In conclusion, there are various ways to define custom license data when using Protection Plus 5 SDK and solo server automation. In all cases, when your software is activated or refreshed, the custom parameters configured on that license are included with the license file that is sent down. If you have any questions regarding which approach is best for you, please contact us at softwarekey.com contact.